Why do you think those wheels would look like gold? <laughs> I've been <laughs> given the eyebrow. <laughs> that's 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 Dave's way of saying snap out of it, you <laughs> idiot. <laughs> It'd be extremely unique. I'd probably Look like to that. see those Colour, wheels dude. were painted dark grey. Hello! Welcome back to the 458 Speciality. It feels like it's been a while since I've said that. Um, as the way things go this time of year, the travelling picks up and content from overseas draws me away from my own car. However, as the rare case would have it, I am actually at home in the UK for at least four days. <laughs> so, we're going to go and visit my dealerships. I would say they were my local dealerships, but they're absolutely miles away from where I'm based. Uh, it's also any excuse that I can have to get out the Speciali, I am game for. And when you visit your Ferrari dealer, I think it's only right that you turn up in your car. Problem is, the last time I got this car out, it was pouring down as it always is. Uh, and as a result, this car is absolutely filthy and I don't want to turn up there looking like I'm disrespecting my car. So we're going to drop into Signature Group first, give this thing some real TLC and get it looking brand new, and then we're going to go and drop by my Ferrari dealer to talk some special things. Okay, let's see what juicy stuff these boys have got in. Ooh, 488 Spider. I, <laughs> Ibrahim looks confused. <laughs> Mate, it's actually started raining. I mean, it's act literally started raining again. What is that all about? It's you, mate. It's me every time. But when I left home, it was the, that, all blue there. Now it's game over. Anyway, let's go and see what, what these guys have in. What I've been told is so, you know, some guy on Twitter sent me a black and white picture of a GT3 arriving, right? So it could be yours. It could be, and he says, I've made it black and white just in case, just yeah. in case it was yours. And But I spoke to the dealer a few days after that, and he didn't mention it. He didn't say, like, oh, by the way, yeah, you yeah. should drop by. The Porsche factory, they are like retooling their whole production line. So, because there's an emissions regulation change happening, like now, and the production line's all changing, so Porsche are like, quick, we've got to rush out all of these GT3s. So I think as of kind of this month, GT3 production is done. Have a guess. Well, what's the mileage on it and that sort of thing? It's three owners. Three owners. 8,450 miles. So it's low. We're just talking about the Cosworth over here. 8,500 miles, three owners. Yeah. All original. All original. Full service. 65 grand. Really? Yeah. Mate, they went crazy. Yeah, yeah. 60, 65 grand for a Ford Cosworth whale tail. Have a look at it. So when I was growing up, this was like part of the sort of max power scene, really. Yeah, yeah. To see one standard was rare, you know, because everyone used to mod them. I remember seeing these before I got my driving license and they were like 15 grand, you know, like, but they'd been modded and had all sorts of bits on. 65 grand now. And Cosworth have gone on to do some crazy They're projects really as well there. Really. Yeah. So I think some of the best engine builders right now. Take this boy, this tail out. It's crisp crackers, isn't it? So Frank told me that the original design was a three layered wing. I mean, how nuts was that? And it was supposed to be inspired by this old German plane. There was this eccentric count that used to fly around Germany in this three-winged plane. And uh, he took the inspiration from this plane and put three wings on it. And the, what he says, the bean counters at Ford at that time were like, you must be crackers, we can't develop a three-winged car. So, amazing. Oh, it's immaculate. Look at this. this it's is like, it is actually Conkle. Yeah. Like showroom spec, large turbo. Yeah, so the earlier ones from yeah. 1992, yeah. Like the first two and a half with the bigger turbo, and it has the blue cover on it, so that tells you it's the bigger turbo. So a little bit more sure. lag than the later ones are the smaller turbo, so sure. slightly less powerful by 10 brake, right. obviously more drivable because it's sure. turbo. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. That's so cool, man. I remember when I first started driving the whole like boy racer scene, I remember these things coming past me, waste gates blowing up. You know, it was yeah. amazing. <laughs> Okay, 
always a good time visiting Signature Group. The cool thing is you never know what they've got in stock. That Cosworth was super cool. Gave me a brief nostalgic trip to the cars that I was focusing on when I was growing up and about to get my driving license. Anyway, clean car, finally. I cannot believe the difference. Not only does a clean car make with some sunshine, this paint really rewards sunshine. That fleck in it brings out the contours of the car. Now we're gonna head over to Stratstone Ferrari and chat new cars. Hi, welcome Hey, how's it going? Uh, could I get a regular cappuccino yeah. and a lemon muffin? and a mocha frappuccino. Yeah, is that medium? Yeah, please. Any cream on top? Just a small amount of cream. Okay, that's everything Make myself you. feel better. Uh, yes, that's everything, thanks. Thank you, Enjoy, bro. Cheers. Every time I go to Starbucks, I'm like, I'm just gonna have pure black coffee, because that's what I normally have, like at restaurants or at home, pure black coffee. And then as soon as I pull up to that board and I see that frappuccino, I'm like, I know how good that is, but I always make, I always justify it by saying, can I only have a small amount of cream, please? Oh, so rubbish, really. Thank you. That's awesome. Thanks a lot. Small cream, isn't it? This, out. this is the first time I've seen another Ferrari in the same color as ours. They do a color called Rosso Fuoco, which is very similar. But this is Rosso Fiorano. I've not seen another car in the same color. It's amazing seeing it, albeit indoors, you don't get quite the same amount of sort of light refraction, but it's amazing what a paint can do to change the whole feel of a car. Drop the price just for you. To cheers, mate. <laughs> hey, mate. Cheers, mate. Good, good, yeah. Cheers, yeah. Well, 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 thank you. Is this the one with like it's a great 600 car. miles on it? 60, 60 miles only. 60 miles. Two owners. Has it had two owners? Two owners. The first owner um, drove it around the block once. That was three miles he did. The car's been serviced three times, so we've done most of the miles that's on the car. Just road testing it after service. Are you serious? And then the second owner just never, never left. I reckon if either you or I own this car, it would have more than it's 60 miles on it. Used. <laughs> wouldn't wouldn't but, it? But the, the silly thing <laughs> is, 60 miles and it's worth 650 grand. If you've done three or 4,000 miles, yeah. it's still worth 650 grand. What's so the, you've got 3,000 uh, worth of free mileage. Worth, worth, yeah, Why would I you know. not use it? So brand new, they were what, 260 ish? Uh, this was about 278, I think, this okay, one. Okay, 278. Artists. And they're like over 600 now. Worst case. So even if you did, even if it didn't do 650 and it was only worth 550. Some of these special cars now, this is what the, probably the biggest issue that I have because in the past five years, our customer database has quadrupled. Right. So, so we had a lot of uh, clients that bought everything, that owned everything. Yeah. But now more and more people are coming on board, seeing what's happening with these. So ticking all the boxes, well, I'll have that one, I'll have that one, I'll yeah, have that one. Yeah. Because they're hoping to get one of these, sure. possibly a LaFerrari. Yeah. And then when you get something like that, all your depreciation is swallowed up. Of course it is, yeah. You know, you, you buy a LaFerrari new, yeah. just under night, well, 970,000, yeah. but then we sell it you for 2 million. That's all your depreciation gone. Of course it is, yeah. And one car, That's it. everything else is free motoring. Which and then because you've done that, you yes. don't qualify for other special stuff. Yeah. Um, and this is the dilemma. Is there ever any c criteria that if you don't use the cars and you're seen to be just ticking boxes, does anyone get pref like priority for using cars? It's a good idea. Yeah. We've thought of doing something similar uh -huh. because all the cars have to be serviced every year. Yeah. We have to enter the mileage on so we can see. Sure. And if you've got something special like this yes. and it's just an ornament, you may not qualify for the next one. Yeah. So we, they take it on board. You know, Enzo Ferrari, yeah. you know, he builds cars, he builds them to be used. That's it, he yeah. doesn't make Ming vases just <laughs> sure. sit on the mantelpiece. That's right, yeah. And that's what a lot of these end up doing. Yeah. So we'd be really interested, actually. I'd love to hear your comments below as to what you think about people taking them and collecting them. I mean, some people, I've known people buy two of these, one to drive, one to, you know, yeah. keep, and other people who just keep them in, the, it's not even at their own garage, it's kept here in case they can sell it. So there's all these different mindsets. Yeah, I'd be fascinated what the audience thinks, really. What they think Interesting. about Again, people for us, using them or not. We, we think they should be there. They Absolutely. should be used, they should yeah, be on yeah. the road. Yeah, yeah that's, that's nice. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, they want to run just because so this is 
super fast baggage. Oh. And you match this to the spec of your car. Yeah, so whatever interior you go for, the leather matches the interior, um, the stitching matches your stitching. How nice is that? It's so it cool. It's good luggage. <laughs> I, I could do my week. I could do my week in that, honestly. <laughs> I can, Road trips, I can man. I just wear, we just wear light. <laughs> t-shirts, same same jeans, etc. So the consideration is, and I don't, I can't decide if this is douchey or not. Okay. <laughs> to have the have the eight twelve match the Speciali. Okay. Let me know in the comments. Is that so is that weird? Is that not cool? I can't tell. I just like that. The it's a great color. color. Of that. It's great. So, Ferrari have had a new configuration system. I mean, in the past, it's always been okay. It's but been okay. You reckon this is up right. there? For, for me, this is the best I've ever come across. I think this takes it to the next level. I mean, straight away, the rendering of the car, it now looks like a real car. Whereas, do you remember beforehand, <laughs> the texture's always a bit flat? Yes. Like, is it, yeah, oh, this is cool. All right, so you can look at the car in Fiorano. Yep. Outside Enzo's house. There you go. There's Enzo's house with the flag flying. Animation on the flag and everything. Yeah, they've really upped it, haven't they? Big yeah, time. Yeah. The first time I drove the 812, filmed it and collected it right there. Did you? Right there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm right outside Enzo's house. I, I sort of had to pinch myself a little bit. <laughs> there you go, Rosso Fiorano. Oh, dude, that looks so good. Mm. That look, it shows, look at the, con the difference in the contours as soon as you add a metallic fleck to it. Oh, that looks so good. And then I'll just put it back inside again, just so. It's Is there any way we, we can turn off these lights a bit? Is that too dark? No, that's great. Yeah, that is great. The TDF wheels, I think, would be important, though. <laughs> For, sure. For sure. So you guys can also go online. So if you go onto the Ferrari configurator, go online, do a spec, and share it with me on Instagram or Twitter. Share with me your specs. The last time we did this, some of the ideas that came out were phenomenal. So I'm still open to it. We do have, what, what do you reckon, Dave, about 18 month wait yet? Uh, yeah, yeah, probably 18 months. Yeah. I can't really confirm, like, actually lock this spec in stone until September, October type of time. Yeah. And even then, actually, even when we lock it in, it doesn't go to red 10. No, no, there's, there's still time. So red still 10 is when the car's about to go to build. Ferrari send you an email and say, just to let you know, you can't change your mind if you want to. <laughs> so, so, yeah, basically we've got until next year, really, yeah. haven't we? Who knows where it'll go. So, yeah, we've still got lots of time. Send me all of your screenshots. What do you think those wheels would look like? Gold. <laughs> <laughs> I've been given the eyebrow. <laughs> Could we match the brake calipers with the ones on the speciali? Just because if we're going to go down the matching thing. Yeah. What colour have you got? Is it the the bronzy? It's like a goldy bronze. Oh, okay. Yeah. Colour. Yeah. So yep. those are the golds. They're the gold. I like the yellow because it ties in with the Scuderia shield. Well, we can have that painted. Just Are we going to have that go. painted? See, Dave's a mastermind I getting money should. out of me. So <laughs> I think you should. there's an option, which is an atelier option, I imagine. Yep. Where you can have the Scuderia shield, which is this thing here. You can have that hand painted, uh, which would make it probably about yeah, that big, right? Yeah, but 50% bigger. About, yeah. yeah. So the reason being, Dave wants to make some bonus on the options, Definitely. but <laughs> the actual reason being is on the F12 you had the the aero bridge here, yeah. which was a, which made this panel narrow. a lot thinner. So the Scuderia shield sort of suited that That's that it. section. On here you've got this big area, and the hand painted one yeah. sort of fills that area a bit yeah. more. It just needs a little something to drain my wallet. <laughs> okay, so that was it. If you followed the original uh, 812 specification journey a, a few months back, uh, you'll know that I did say that I would probably change my mind a few times before confirming the spec. Uh, Dave back there told me that we really don't have to confirm this until around about sort of October, November time anyway. So the chances are we're gonna have some more spec and idea changes. But as I mentioned, please send me some more spec ideas. I got some really cool ideas when you guys sent me some renderings from the online configurator a few months ago. Uh, genuinely is more helpful than you might think because I get to see all sorts of crazy ideas. Um, and then even if we take little bits and bobs from them, it can enhance the sort of personalization of it and make it really individual. So yes, this is the next step in the 812 journey. Uh, we also will be getting our hands on an 812 Superfast in the UK very soon, so stay tuned for that. As always guys, thanks for watching and I shall see you next time. Ciao!